U.S. Russians lost more than 100,000 soldiers in Bakhmut. Russia's forces have allegedly suffered heavy casualties in the months-long battle for the strategic Donbas city of Bakhmut, U.S. President Joe Biden told journalists at the G7 summit in the Japanese city of Hiroshima. The truth of the matter is that Russians have suffered over 100,000 casualties in Bakhmut. This is hard to make up the U.S. president claimed without revealing the source of this information. He then downplayed Russia's capture of the city by saying that there are not many buildings left standing in Bakhmut and calling it a pretty devastated city. We estimate that Russia has suffered more than 100,000 casualties, including over 20,000 killed in action, he claimed at that time. In November 2022, U.S. Joint Chiefs of Staff Mark Milley claimed that more than 100,000 Russians had been killed or wounded since the conflict between Moscow and Kiev started back in February 2022. The general also said that Kiev's losses were probably the same. U.S. officials have on various occasions used the number 100,000 when speaking about supposed Russian casualties in the ongoing conflict. In early May, the White House National Security Council spokesman, John Kirby, used the same figure to describe the alleged total Russian casualties in the conflict since December 2022. The last time Moscow officially revealed Russian forces' losses in the conflict was in September 2022. At the time, Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu said that 5,937 soldiers had been killed in action.